guess what this is? This is a weasel on a ball. Yeah. I'm gonna cut this thing on and see how the farm reacts. <laughs> what do you think? Gonna be a crazy day? Or maybe just, nah. The other day, we had a fan give us a toy that they thought Nugget would love. And that is this weasel on a ball. So apparently, when you press this button, it, uh, it does this vibrating flip flopping around type thing. And I was like, you know what? I'm curious to see how Nugget will react to this. But I told Brooke, I said, let's see how the whole farm may react to the weasel on a ball. <laughs> let's go do some chores this morning. Get everybody taken care of. And let's see if anybody wants to play. Yeah. Well, hello, Mildred. Look at you, girl. Look at you. Yeah. Got your beautiful, beautiful halter on. I like it. I do. Pink's your color. Definitely pink is your color. No ifs and buts about it. I like it. I like it. Now, Mary Cross friend, y'all saw in the last video, Piper, she came over, and her granddaddy is a big cattle farmer, and so she's around cows a lot, and she put the halter on Mildred. Sure did. That something? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, beautiful. Y'all look how tame she's getting now. I mean, I'm right up on her. Couldn't have done that last week. Could be sunny. <clears throat> hey, Mildred. This here is called a weasel. Yep, no. Nope. Don't know about the weasel. Okay. Well, look. I'm going to see what Nugget thinks about this weasel on a ball. And I'm wondering what your buddies in there are going to think about this weasel on the ball. What do you think about the weasel on the ball? It might get me to running. <laughs> I'm going to cut it on and see if you start dancing. <laughs> I, I think I better cut it on and see if you start dancing. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> We're about to get low. We are about to get low. Don't Watch your head. head, okay? Watch your head. I got to go deep in this barrel. <laughs> <laughs> now, you oh, get man. your first little bite, and then I'm going to throw some out to make them. Get your first little bite. What's up, boys? Got Moo Man. Moo Man was taking him a little rest this morning. Yeah, chewing that cud. Chewing that cud. I hear you, buddy. <laughs> What's up, big Moo? Huh? What's up, Jojo? Hey, Moody, I know you like your ball, which is deflated over here. I gotta air it back up. But I got a new toy for you today that I hope you're really gonna like. I'm calling it a weasel on a ball. I'm interested to see how you like the weasel on the ball. Yeah. I'm ready. We'll let you eat breakfast and get your food settled. And uh finish all the chores up. Yeah. See I we'll come back, give you your brushing, and we'll play with the weasel on the ball. What <laughs> hello Tucker. Now if anybody may like a weasel on the ball. It might be Tucker. I'm gonna tell y'all something. You know, your last video was about Nugget. Yeah. And his feathers being like a rattlesnake. Yeah. I have noticed, and she's probably not gonna do it right now. See her tail? Yeah. Look at it. I actually got it on the video. Did you? Mm -hmm. Yep, I did. 
her tail imitates a rattlesnake. And I had I had a lot of comments say there's no rattlesnakes in Australia, but it was just a figure of speech. Right. It wasn't like exactly a rattlesnake. It is a defense mechanism of emus. And most people know what a rattlesnake is. And so I just, you know. Well, hello, Foxy Lotsy. What's up, Foxy? Mm, that feels good, Jonah girl. And that sun, speaking of sun, there's sunshine. Yeah. There's my girls. Yeah. Mm-mm. Fox, if I get this weasel on the ball going, you gonna start doing your running? Hmm. <laughs> oh goodness, babies. Oh, let me go help mama. Oh, before I go help mama, I gotta stop in with the boss lady real quick. What'd you turn your back on me for? You peachy. Peachy. Goodness, girl. Thought you might be mad at me. Let me get you a treat. Yeah, let me grab you a treat this morning. Oh, that's Mildred's. That's Mildred's bucket. This is Peach's bucket. Let's see here, Peachy. Alright, we had a fan send Peaches these blueberry mini pig treats. And she does like them. Here you go, Peach. Get them up, girl. Roomba and Loki, y'all better stay away from her treats. What's up, Tipper? What's up, Skipper Tipper? Gotta stay on the boss lady's good side. Y'all know what I mean? This morning, I forgot to say this earlier, but uh -huh. this morning I came out and gave Mildred her bottle because, yeah. you know, I, I just want her to get her nutrition early. And so when I do that, I like to feed the goats and peaches at the same time so they're not, you know, competing for food. And I knew peaches need to eat. I brought her warm water to fill up with her feed. But peaches was in her hut. And she was all tucked in the, She was all tucked in her hay. And I said, peaches, you gotta eat. And she was like a little kid that just about missed a school bus. You know, she just jumped up. She was like, oh my gracious, it's breakfast time. And I almost missed it. <laughs> and she come running. She come running. She wasn't gonna miss that breakfast. <laughs> but she was sleeping hard. She might be back to bed by now. Peaches a hard sleeper. All right. Boys and girls this morning. What's going on? Well, hello, Miss Cleo. What's going on, Cleopatra? I just love Bobby. Right there. Isn't she beautiful? Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Hmm. Guys, I got a surprise for y'all, yeah. I'm gonna turn loose the weasel on the ball in here and see what happens. Thomas, you ready for that later today? You better be. <laughs> I don't talk about this chicken much. I posted a beautiful picture of it on Instagram the other day. But right behind that white chicken right there, she's right in there. Right there, see her walking right there? That's a Rhode Island blue. She is just so pretty. Of course, most everybody knows what a Rhode Island red is. It's probably one of the most popular chickens around and has been for many, 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 many years. But that Rhode Island blue is just gorgeous. What's up, ACDC? Boy, you're looking pretty with that sun hitting you just right. Yeah. What is going on, Dolly Parton and Blondie? Y'all are some of the most beautiful chickens we got here. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, y'all are. Just gorgeous. That right there is like a mini me Cleo, look. And there's Cleo, and that's a mini me Cleo right there. Well, when we got her, you know what Meg Carl said? What's that? Mama, we gotta get her, cause you know how much you like Cleo, <laughs> so we gotta get her. <laughs> like she was getting her from me. Yeah. Hello, cobbler, blueberry, and blackberry. Let's see, y'all's water's good. What's going on, long legs? 
Granddaddy long legs. That's about what he's like. Timmy! What's up, Timmy? And Melinda. Hey, Melinda. Melinda, you quit sitting, baby. You quit sitting on your eggs. Melinda, may no longer be broody. I don't know. What's going on, Mr. Timmy? It's like the turkeys follow me everywhere. Everywhere. You hear that, buddy? I mean, I'm in here with you, and the turkeys are right out the door, like, waiting on me. They're crazy. Yeah. You doing okay, buddy? Hmm, you're looking good. Looking good. Yes, you are. Quite dapper. Ready to go? Okay. All right, let me get you guys water. Let me see Melinda real quick. Melinda? Melinda? What's that? Whoa, girl! Whoa! Uh, hey, hey. I was just wondering if you threw being broody. Hmm? You still sitting on them eggs? Huh? Let's see how your children are doing. Little three amigos there. Now that one over there is really tiny, so I'm assuming that may be a Sarama. I have to get the chicken master in here let me know. And the other two are modern games. Not quite for sure. Alright, y'all need some water. Melinda, Timmy needs some water. Charles H2O here. Get back, Timmy. Get back, Timmy. Look out, Timmy. Let me get the babies first. All right, babies. There's y'all's water. Oh, we're gonna get y'all some more. Oh, Mary Crow's got their feet in here. So you think Melinda's still breeding? I hear her. Okay. I thought she may have stopped. Sitting on the maze, but you don't think so. Uh -huh. Look good. Is that little one the Sarama? Oh, uh, they're eating the Sarama. There's no Saramas? Not yet. There's uh, still some Sarama eggs. Around. Okay, so they're all modern game. Mm -hmm. Okay. But look at its legs. Yeah, I can tell they got long legs. Definitely got long legs. This one's only a few days old, and you can see how long it's like. Yeah, it's got long legs now. No doubt. I think this one's gonna be solid black. You think that one's gonna be solid uh -huh. black? It's got long legs. And Robert at David Avery said he thinks this one's gonna be a virgin. Uh huh. Which is black with a silver neck. Uh huh. And mine are brown reds, which I don't know. I have a pair of brown reds and then blueberries are splashing. So I don't know what their colors will be. They okay. Might be mixed. They might be I got true. you. Y'all can y'all can probably hear the wind, but um, put plastic up because we've had some really really cool nights and the uh, the the modern games and the I know the wind's probably rough. The modern games and the Saramas they don't like cold weather, so we put the plastic up. Got some heat lights in there. Yep, that's what I figured. Tucker could care less about it. <laughs> she doesn't care. She does doesn't she? care. I, she that's, said just pet me, me, Carl. That's right. Yeah. Well, all right, Tucker. I kind of thought you'd play with it. I kind of thought she'd paw at it, and well, she is getting to be an old lady. I think I she's older than what we think. We couldn't remember the other day how old she was, but she's she's. The older I get, the more I want to be loved on too. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to play with the weasel ball. I, well, maybe, but I still want to be loved on. Let's see what Tommy does. Tommy. <laughs> Tucker. Nope. Oh my gracious, the Muscovy's gonna check it out, ain't he? She. She. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
gracious the turkeys I wouldn't have thought that no. <laughs> oh man all right they may be done with it let's go try somebody else Who's that? let's go next up let's see what the goats do It's good flat ground here. Come here, baby. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Not interested in it at all. See Bootsy looking at it? Yeah, I do see Bootsy behind me, Carl. She's kind of the leader. She is kind of leader. That was a no. The goats just, nope. That's not fun. That's nothing. That's no fun at all. Yeah, so the goats just... So far the turkeys have been the most curious about the weasel on the ball. We know Peaches ain't even going to pay attention to it. Well, you want to give it a shot? We can give it a shot. Peaches <laughs> said, where's my food? <laughs> where's my watermelon? Where's my food? <laughs> no, Peaches don't care about it. Mm. No. <laughs> I figured she would give me some loving or something. Yeah. Just give me some loving. Yeah. You going to talk about it? You going to talk about it, Pete, Pete? Hmm. I told on you this morning you didn't you were sleeping in. Yeah. And you hopped up when you heard that food, didn't you? You know, since she's been here on the forty, she does tend to sleep a little late. She does. I'm just I'm don't get mad, Peaches, but I'm gonna put it out there. <laughs> you do sleep a little late since we've been here. You hear? Yeah. Yeah. You do sleep late. I have to start getting you an alarm clock, girl. <laughs> You'd think Loki over there behind you'd get her up. Yeah. Or that one. Or that one. Yeah. Loki's too late now. She's already up. <laughs> that didn't work, did it? That didn't work. Oh, goodness. Here's your entourage. Yeah. All right, Peachy. The Peachy Clan. The Peachy Clan. What tickles me is sometimes I look up under the porta hut and Peaches is in there. With Loki standing on her back. Yeah. He's giving her a massage per her orders. He he gets up there quite often because I've seen, you know, something he may do on her back that she don't want to discuss. But uh, he will, you know, number two on her back from time oh, to time. Oh, peachy. Yeah. <laughs> Was that Bootsy? Bootsy? She eating my jacket. <laughs> the, these girls are eating my jacket back here. Are they? Yeah. I'm going to tell y'all something, though. I'm going to tell y'all something. This thing right here has turned into something sweet. Every day, me and him have been loving on each other. And he has really, really, really gotten sweet. Look at him. He said he does not want to go with the boys. He wants to stay with the girls. We've been putting him over here from time to time, and he's just been so ugly to everybody over here. He but like now... Yeah. Now... Tipper has flipped a switch. You did that, buddy. You 
got red on his head from where he's buttoning that hay feeder. Yeah, he's scratching his head on the hay feeder. You are a sweet boy. He is a sweet boy. <laughs> yes, he is. Do you try to get peaches up in the morning? He might. And peaches is going to call somebody. She's trying to get my phone out of my pocket. <laughs> Who are you going to call, Peaches? Huh? Who are you going to call? Who are you going to call? She's probably going to call Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Who's next? I'm going to try Nuggo next. Nuggo and the geese. The geese liable to give us a good reaction with. Yeah, I'd be like, bah, 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 yeah. Bah, 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 bah. No tip, you can't go out. He said he's been sweet, so he's going to come walk around with us. <laughs> we are not set up to let animals out yet. That would be a disaster, wouldn't it, there? Sun Oak. Chip would, he would be on the car and the truck and the camper and the side by side. Oh, it would be bad. Nugget, this was originally meant for you, buddy. Yes, it was. Look here, Nugget. <laughs> oh, what do you think, Nugget? <laughs> as big as you are, <laughs> you look. You look like a dinosaur. In high heels. A dinosaur in high heels. Nope. <laughs> that was short lived, wasn't it, buddy? Huh? Yeah. But that was fun, wasn't it? You gonna go check it with the geese? Yeah. Let's go check the geese. <laughs> Who is that? Cantaloupe. <laughs> Cantaloupe. Look at ice cream. They're eyeballing it. But... <laughs> They're not even sounding the alarm. <laughs> oh, and this Muscovy over here is like, eh, it ain't nothing. <laughs> think about this weasel on a ball huh he said do you know how big and tough i am <laughs> do you know i got a feeling that moody's not gonna care one bit about the weasel on the ball <laughs> you think not i don't think he is no all right you want to go to the fence with it we can since we're over here see what no, he does Moody. i don't know if he's gonna even see it i don't it, it's, he's so big i don't know if Moody. it's even gonna even Register on his radar here. Come here, buddy. What do you think, Moody? Well. <laughs> <laughs> He's done. I'm done. I'm <laughs> done with it. You just want some love, don't you? Do you like Tipper? Yeah. You a good big baby. He is a good big baby. That's exactly right too, because he is a big baby. He's big so old baby. Yeah. Yeah. You a good man. Yes, you are. <laughs> was that not fun? What did you guys think? That was pretty. That was pretty enjoyable. I want to give you guys a quick update on the pond. Uh, it's pretty much cleaned out where the pond's gonna go now. The bulldozer will be coming really, really soon. And he's gonna start stripping away this topsoil. But I think I got a great plan for this topsoil. I'm, I'm gonna talk with Mr. Greg, but I'm hoping to get 
the topsoil in a pile kind of out of the way that I possibly can use it for my potage garden. If I do raised beds, I can use this topsoil for my raised beds. And I had Tracy from Just Dig It Farm come over. And if you haven't seen her channel, be sure to go check it out. She is a garden expert and designer. And she came to give me some ideas about the potage garden. And she looked at the fruit orchard. And we're going to completely redo how we did the fruit orchard. And she thinks I ought to put berms in for the fruit trees. And I want to take this topsoil here, if, if Greg doesn't need it for something, for the pond. And make the berms for the fruit orchard with this native topsoil. So hopefully all that comes together. The reason why she suggested doing the berms here in the fruit orchard is because it's on a slope. And that will help with erosion and help with watering the trees. But you're fixing to start seeing on the next update, the pond is probably going to look different. Uh, he's going to start stripping away this topsoil, get down to the nitty gritty, and start working on the dam, which is going to go like right over here. Hello, hookbill duck eggs. Y'all stay cozy in war. Hungry for the road all my life Thirsty for adventure all my youth Chasing all my freedoms down Liberty Avenue And every time I hear a phrase My mother used to say to me Everything happens for a reason I get the feeling I need A little taste of home, home, home Just a little taste of home I need a little taste Conversation Steam coming up off the stove Photographs down the staircase Showing our stories unfold And every time I hear a song My father used to sing to me Sweet words of an Irish lullaby Taste. 